on YouTube. This is the very latest news from Fabulous 103 and the Fabulous Patio Media Group. It would be great if you liked and subscribed to us. According to Thailand's Prime Minister, the reason why singer Taylor Swift won't be coming to Thailand to perform, as have other top singers, is that Singapore did a deal with her that she would only perform there and not in any other country in Southeast Asia. According to him, the Singapore government offered 2 to $3 million per show in exchange for exclusivity. In the world of Thai politics this weekend, we saw former Prime Minister Thaksin released from his comfortable hospital ward and allowed to enter society after spending several months there in recovery and avoiding the general prison population. Thailand's third largest political party, Bumai Thai, faces the possibility of dissolution as a political power after its former Secretary General was found guilty of concealing assets and using a nominee to hide ownership of a company that won government construction projects. Laws here prohibit a minister or his direct family from holding shares in a commercial company. And the Election Commission is due to review a constitutional court verdict on Move Forward Party to establish whether they broke any political party laws with a petition from concerned individuals before them that proposes their dissolution. That too is now in the hands of a committee. An online movie operator which pirated films, then uploaded them for cheap viewing online here in Thailand, was closed down at the weekend after raids on four locations saw their streaming services switched off and records indicating 60 million baht turnover. Said to have operated for 18 years by the Thai media, the membership-only service reportedly had tens of thousands of movies listed. In Myanmar, the Thai embassy had queues forming early this morning again, following a recent rush by locals applying for visas to Thailand. Compulsory military conscription for both men and women has seen over a thousand queue at one time at the embassy entrance all determined not to serve the less than popular junta there. Others have been spotted making illegal border crossings. Just how an army captain happened to be riding around the capital on a motorbike loaded down with tear gas canisters, smoke bombs and flares has yet to be established. But that's what the cops found when they attended the scene where he hit the pavement and crashed. Found to be over the legal limit for alcohol, he was held in a jail cell as he faces disciplining from the army as well as the police. And a tale of the weird from Kanchanaburi province, where officials sought to put out a series of forest fires, only to find that they were likely set by a cult that's not only taken up residence in a national park area, but also claims sovereignty over their chosen spot. That likely won't last for long as patience is wearing thin after satellite images pinpointed local blazes. Their signage, well, it claims that they have the right to use whatever force they choose to eject so-called trespassers. And according to CCTV tapes and witness statements, a 34-year-old British man who died while riding a motorbike on Phuket crashed into three different vehicles after cutting across lanes in the road and hitting an oncoming truck. The British Embassy has been informed. Fans of the Green Bays are being snookered at the moment, as here in Thailand, snooker is registered as a basis for gambling. That ruling goes back decades. It doesn't ban the game, but it does preclude those under the age of 20 from legally playing at any time, which duly precludes them from taking part in national and international tournaments. So it's finally been agreed that the game will be removed from the list of gambling activities, allowing all of any age here to play. That decision has to be signed off by the Interior Minister, Kunan Nutin, as, meanwhile, the balls, for youngsters at least, remain firmly off limits. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, and social media was awash at the weekend, with video clips from several days before of a flock of fools riding motorbikes en masse through the city, doing wheelies to impress themselves and scare the public. With some standing on their bikes and others riding with no hands, police are likely to devour the footage slowly, and arrests are likely, especially as there's concern that others may copycat them. A 39-year-old driver in Jomtien has been arrested and charged with a brutal assault on a 16-year-old minor girl, forcing her into his home before the attack. Online taxi services, for the most part, do not see drivers or often their vehicles monitored. However, they do offer lady driver options, which really is much safer for females travelling alone. And Saturday saw reports of a drunken transsexual stabbing two women with a knife after their partners for the night refused him or her advances. Seems one 22-year-old was found bleeding in Soy 13 and then a second victim too. 
Police were waiting for her to sober up before questioning, and both were treated for their injuries. A 24-year-old man was recovered by police at the weekend in the early hours as he hid after being kidnapped by a loan shark gang to whom he owed several hundred thousand baht. Taken from his home in Siracha, he found himself in a patia house where he took a beating before managing to escape. The henchmen were duly caught, driving a vehicle which also contained a bloody baseball bat and ropes. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 27, a very humid day with partial sunshine and the real feel of 37. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.